All right, what's going on guys? So we are here in the Everglades. I spent the last several hours fishing like the western part of the Everglades, near Everglades City. Uh, there it's a little bit more brackish. I was trying to get some snook or tarpon or something like that. And several snagged and lost lures later. I have nothing to show for that. So we're heading back home. We're going toward Miami. We're closer to Miami now. And we're gonna be fishing Tamiami Trail over here. So this is the more freshwater side. Um, I fished here a lot and usually did pretty well when the water level is down. Now it's still springtime, which the water levels usually this time of year are pretty low. But this year, the rainy season started a little bit earlier than it did the last several years. So water levels are up just a little bit. Uh, as a matter of fact, was it two weekends ago? I think it was two weekends ago. Uh, we set a record for the number of rain the amount of rainfall Fort Lauderdale got within 24 hours. I think Fort Lauderdale got 25 inches within 24 hours two weeks ago. So yeah, water levels are up. It's been raining a lot the last several weeks. Uh, we're going to be fishing my medium light Avid X, which is my go-to when I want to fish some smaller lures, but want to upsize the strength of my rod and my line just a little bit because we could run into some larger fish. So enough of me rambling. Let's fish Tamiami Trail Canal and let's hope we can catch some fish here that we did not catch in the morning over there. All right, so here is the lure of the day. Uh, it's a uh, 1 16th ounce crappie magnet jig head with a crappie magnet soft plastic. So several years ago, I bought maybe like 50, 60, 70 dollars worth of crappie magnet products for like 20 dollars from a uh, another YouTuber that was getting rid of them. Um, and then I really haven't used them that much, so I got a whole pile of tons of crappie magnet products. So let's go through them a little bit. The water levels here are a little bit higher than they usually are this time of year, but it doesn't look like it's all that bad. And there's usually a good amount of fish hanging out here close to shore under all this vegetation. So I don't need to cast out too far. I'm mainly just going to work uh, the shoreline here. So kind of right at the edge, let it drop a little bit, and now jig it and swim it back. So if there's something under all this vegetation, it should come out and hit it. There is a fish. I think that's gonna be a Mayan. First one of the day. These guys usually fight pretty well. Let's flip them on in here. All right, so there's fish number one. Good looking Mayan cichlid. There's always tons of these over here in this spot. Usually you get tons of these and then once in a while you'll get something else just a little bit cooler. So let's get this one back. I'm sure we'll get a couple more of these. And maybe we'll get a peacock or a warm mouth or a spotted sunfish or just something else a little cooler. There's a fish. Not that big of one. It's another Mayan. All right, so this guy did not put up much of a fight. He is a little guy, but even at this size, they usually fight a little bit better than this guy did. But yep, two mines. Let's get him back and let's keep going. There's a bite. There's a fish. Is that another mine? I think it is, and it's pulling well. I think this is a bigger mine. I saw some orange early on, but I think it's going to be a big one. At least bigger than the ones I've caught so far. He's not even that big, but he put up a decent fight. Let's get him up here. All right, so mine cichlid number three. He's not even that big. I think that first one we caught was about the same size as this one. This one might be a little bigger, but he put up a great fight, pulled straight down. Thought we had a nice peacock until I saw that orange. But yep, let's get this guy back and let's keep going.
There's a fish. Little Mayan. All right, so like I said, we're gonna have to work through a lot of Mayan cichlids because these are the most common catch. These things outnumber, there's Oscars in here, there's Jaguars in here, but these things outnumber those guys like at least 10 to one. I usually catch like 10 of these guys before I even catch a single other cichlid. So this is number four, I think. So still got a long way to go. That's a, that was a fish. That felt like a good one too. I'm sure it was probably another Mayan. Let's get this lure back down there. Right along that drop off. There is, that was a fish again. That's two drops in a row. I had a bite and I missed it. This guy took the, one of the legs. But let's see if we can make it three for three in this time. Let's see if we can catch him. Let's get the lure down along that drop off there. See if we can get that guy to bite a third time. There it is. I don't know if that's the same one, but we had a bite on three straight drops in the same spot. Another good fight from another Mayan. All right, so Mayan cichlid number five. So we're, we're well on the way to working through that 10 or so that it usually takes me until I get something else. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get something else soon. There's a fish. Feels like a smaller one. All right, now he pulled a little bit and now he's wrapped up in those lily pads there. Can I muscle him out through there? What is that thing? Is that a Mayan? I think he's gonna break me off on this rock. He just swam under it. Let's muscle him on out of here. It is a Mayan. Mayan cichlid number six. All right, we got another pretty nice sized Mayan cichlid put up in nice fight. And that's why when fishing th these kind of conditions where there's a lot more stuff in the water and these fish are a little bit bigger, um, I like going with that medium light, just gives you a little bit more backbone, a little bit more power to muscle these fish out from under all this vegetation. There's a fish. This is what I want. Let's go. All right, unfortunately, this guy flopped off the hook and got himself a little dirty, but this is my favorite catch of the day. It's a spotted sunfish. Yeah, so it might have been the smallest fish of the day, but it's my favorite because it's a native. All those Mayan cichlids, non-native, all those other cichlids, also non-native but every once in a while you'll get lucky here. You'll catch a cool little native like that spotted sunfish. So best catch of the day. Now let's see if we can build off of that and get some even better catches. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, it's a largemouth. All right, so it's a largemouth, another native, and believe it or not, this is one of the rarer natives 
um, in this canal. It's only the third one I've ever caught out of here. I've caught a lot more, uh, you know, red ears, warmouth, spotted sunfish, even bowfin and Florida gar. That's only my third ever largemouth. And all I was doing was letting my lure drop to the bottom. I was distracted with my phone for a minute. Once it hit the bottom, I was gonna start jigging it back up and there was a largemouth on it. All right guys, so that is gonna do it. And not a great day here. Usually this canal produces really well, um, but yeah, the water levels are just a little bit higher than they usually are this time of year. And I think those most of these fish just kind of dispersed and moved out because usually in like, let's say most of April and like early May, the water levels are still lower. There's a lot of peacock spawning. There's a lot of uh, sunfish spawning. I'm sure there's a lot of mine cichlid spawning because they, they're all over the place. But usually it's close to shore. It's let's say five fish out of every 10 or 15 casts. Today I got six fish and I walked probably about a fifth of a mile or so. So not as many fish, not as many bites. The spotted sunfish and the largemouth were cool because they're native. The mine cichlids were annoying because they're not. Uh, but glad they were here, otherwise I would have had a whole lot less action. So yeah, that's gonna do it. Hope you guys like this short little, probably about an hour fishing session here on Tamiami Trail in the Everglades. And I will see you guys next time.